officially back from vacation. It's fine. You're going to hear me. We are back from vacation. I want to unpack my makeup bag finally. And I thought I would show you what I packed to do my makeup at the beach. Now, did I do my makeup at the beach? Yes. And here's proof. Did I get to film the video I wanted to film? No. Between the waves and my people coming out, like, it just, it wasn't working. So then I was going to try to do, like, just this aesthetic thing. And then I thought, who wants to sit and watch a half hour of me doing my makeup with just the waves? Like, maybe five to ten minutes max. So, we're going to do my makeup today with everything I packed from the beach still in the bag I packed for the beach. Okay, let's see. First thing I packed was this perfume, the Sol de Janeiro fragrance, Cheriosa 59. I don't think this has the notes on here. Share the warmth of the sunset with uplifting notes of vanilla orchard, sugared violet, and sheer sandalwood. I am a sucker for sandalwood, 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 bergamot, and vetiver. I'm a straight sucker. I literally love almost anything with that scent. Now, I'm really becoming a sucker for Sol de Janeiro because I bought this. I really wanted the 68, like the new cherry one that came out because apparently it's a gourmand and I still don't know what that means. But I do have the 40. This has notes of black amber, plum, vanilla woods, and musk. I don't like this one as much, but I have it and I can't get rid of it, so we'll see. But I definitely like this one, so... This was my beet scent. Okay, let's see. A primer. A primer. A primer would be the place to start. Okay, here we go. I actually have two. So to begin, I went with the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know. I might need three pumps of this. Really going to work that in. Let it do its thing. So many things that I want to say. Okay, so while I'm letting that soak in, let me see if I can find... I brought this eyeliner, the Vivid Rich from NYX Mechanical Liner Smoke and Topaz. So we'll use that in just a second. Let me see. I do have some skin prep in here as well. I took my Bioma, B-Y-O-M-A, Depuff and Brighten Eye Gel. Oh, this is also another step that I probably should do now. What else? This is like... I don't remember. I took the Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. I always thought that was good to put on, like, after I'd washed my face and stuff in the evening after being outside. Because, like, I was stripping sweat, sunscreen after sunscreen after sunscreen layer. And I thought, ooh, that, that would be good to take with me. I don't want to lose your love. I think this is actually the primer that I used in the video. I must not have realized I had the Urban Decay. This is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Tarte one that I'll put a picture of right here. Let me put just a little bit of this on. It's very thick. It's thicker than I thought it would be. And it's kind of hard to get into with my nails. So we'll do just a little bit of that right here. Like where my smile lines and right here in my 11s. See if that'll kind of fill them in. Brows. Back to brows. I took the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Rich Auburn. So many things that I want to say. You know I like my girls a little bit older. Uh-oh. Okay, so the face base. The Magic Face Base from L'Oreal and the Urban Decay don't like each other because when I put that on, it basically rubbed and peeled. So those two are not two that I would encourage you to use together. Anyways, I also have to micro dermaplane whatever tonight. I am not the best brow person on myself. Like I don't take the time that probably I should with my brows. 
I literally just throw color on and then brush them out. And what is is now on other people, I will take time. I'll brush them. I will put glue or uh, brow gel. Then I'll fill them in. Like I do really good on other people. But when it comes to myself, I don't know. If it's not something super important that I'm going to, I don't spend a lot of time on my brows. And I'm okay with that. The other thing I brought that I wanted to kind of use like under my makeup was the Essence Magic Filter Glow Booster in 10 Light. I did another video um, testing some new products from Ulta and this was in it, but I forgot about it or I didn't use it like at the right time. Oh, I don't like that smell. Oh, I don't like that smell. I feel like I was watching another YouTube video. Who was I watching? Andrea something. And I think she talked about the smell of this. Okay, it's starting to dissipate, but when you dissipate, but when you first pump it, you can smell that smell. And because it is so kind of like thick, it doesn't feel like it's actually going to blend. I'm just kind of patting it on instead of rubbing because we've already seen that urban decay get disrupted and I don't want to I kind of want to avoid that if possible. So there is that. I really should invest in like a little mirror or something that I keep right here. So there is Glowy. Now two things I brought that I must not have realized that I brought both of them. For liquid bronzing I brought the Milani Conceal and Perfect Sun Kiss Liquid Bronzing Drops, which I've also done a dedicated video on these, so go check that out. And I brought the LYS Contour Stick. I think I want to use this today, but I did, in fact, pack these, which I think I put them straight into the foundation, whatever I was using, which I think was this, the Diamond Perfector Mineral Wear BB Cream from Physicians Formula. This is really good, but now that I've already put this glow booster on, I feel like this would be a little too much, but let me show you what this looks like. I used this a while back, and I really like it for very, very natural, easy days, but also like a beautiful glow. Like, look at that. It's got just a little bit of coverage. It's very sheer because it's only a BB cream, but then it's got like this beautiful reflection to it. I really like it, so I did take that, but... We're going to go in with some LYS. It, that is so freaking creamy. Holy cow. Okay. To blend, I kind of want to use a brush. Actually, I just got a brush I want to use. I didn't take this one with me, but this is the um, Liquid Blush Brush by e.l.f. But I feel like this is going to do really well for this as well. This is going to do really well for this as well. This is going to do really well for blending out this cream bronzing product. I've seen a tip on TikTok that said if you're going to do bronzing, like contouring or sculpting, oh, it was Ask Ellen Beauty. Make sure you take it behind your ear. This is not blending and it looks really yellow. Yeah, I feel like it's not blending. That's okay. I still haven't gone over with foundation yet either, so hopefully the combo here will do the trick. I don't know what's going on, but you can see this really prominent bruise right here. I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay, there is the LYS. Don't know if I'm loving that at the moment. Like this brush. Okay, for blush, I knew instantly what blush I was going to be taking. First time I tried it out on this video, which I think is the same video that I tried out these bronzing drops, I was like, oh, that is going to the beach with me, 100%. It is the L'Oreal Lumi Le Liquid Blush. This is in the shade Glowy Gold Pink. I actually just picked up a second shade in Glowy Worth It Medium. So let me show you here. Here we have the Glowy Worth It Medium and the Glowy Gold Pink. And the glowy gold pink is what I took with me to the beach. I love this blush. It, oh, it's beautiful and it's like the right kind of glowy that doesn't really accentuate your texture. I hope that that makes sense. I've seen a lot of people saying that the new Selena Gomez one, like the blushy, highlighty product that she came out with from her beauty can accentuate your texture and that's understandable because of the glitter and the highlight in it but like this I don't feel like you have that problem oh, I just love it I love it okay 
real quick going back to brows i guess i also did pack my nyx the brow glue in clear i really should probably get a new one of these because that's that is looking cloudy and that is kind of grossing me out honestly i don't even think i would repurchase one repurchase this one again i my favorite brow anything that i have ever found is the fiber fix gel from flower beauty so that's what i would repurchase probably over the nyx glue okay foundation I, did i take two or did i just take this one? Oh, just this one all right we are going in with the elf soft glam satin foundation and this is in the shade 13 fair neutral and i hope it really does a little bit for this um whatever is going on down here just going in with my bk beauty 101 okay that definitely helped and it looks much more natural underneath oh i like that I did lose a little bit of the blush, but that's okay, because we do have powder products we're going to put on top. But first, let's do concealer. The concealer that I brought was the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer. I had to take it. It smells like a walking vacation, so I had to take it on my vacation. I am going to let it sit for just a few whatevers and show you this new brush I got. They had um, Morphe brushes. Buy two, get one free at Ulta, and I got the M v 105 this is like a pointed concealer brush because the concealer brush that i currently have the current concealer brush i have from joa i think it's supposed to be duping that rare beauty one but like when you start pushing you see how like the bristles will flex and sometimes you end up hitting yourself with the component and i don't really care for that and so this one first of all doesn't have that and it's a little it's more dense than the joa one so i did pick this up and I like how, because it's kind of like, I guess the word's tapered, like it's pinched, I can kind of get right in that corner. Now I am going to slightly tap over it with a sponge. It just kind of helps the edges get blended out. I like this. This is, this is so far my favorite concealer brush. I've tried the one from e.l.f. I have tried one from... I don't remember what the brand was. It was not Rare Beauty, but it was like basically trying to dupe this. It was okay. Lost it in the fire, but so far this is the best. Okay, when it comes to powder, this is all I packed. And I think you can see in the video when I realized this. This is the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder from e.l.f. And I am going to use that, but I want to first use the Laura Mercier powder. And then I recently got this. It's that double-sided um, sponge from real techniques the miracle two-in-one -one powder puff this side for powder this side for liquid i'm going to try this out so we're going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of the laura mercier okay then i read you're supposed to work it in and then i'm going to start from down here and come up i think i learned that from was that Ellen Beauty as well? I can't remember where I learned that from. See, that sets my eyes, but like it almost makes, even though that's translucent, it makes my face look darker than it is. Like I need a more translucent, translucent powder. Well, I, I mean, that works. This is nice. I really like the pointiness of the tip to really get into the corner of your eye. This is what I brought for eyeshadow. This is the Wild Child palette from ColourPop. I thought it would go really well with the, um, topaz liner i just don't have the energy to do that today so i am though going to take just a little bit of eyeshadow primer which i'm sure you guessed is milani just a scoosh a scoosh just a scoosh and then i am going to pop over the top of that with this shade a hashtag spotted right here then i'm gonna take a little bit of ground crew Sorry, I know, I can feel my mood, so I'm going to try to hurry up. And then on the lid, I am going to take some of this shade Fierce. So basically this whole top row is my eye look. Then I'm going to literally just take my finger, tap into some of this Herd to Get. And I would go with that Topaz and like do the underlining and the top, but my spirits are falling and I must 
hurry up and finish. Okay, mascara. The trio that I took was my Essence Lash Primer in the Lash, Prin Lash Princess. I took the Maybelline Curl and Bounce Colossal. And then for my lower lashes, the Essence Lash Princess Waterproof. All right, I'm going to give that a second before I put the mascara on top. For powder blush, I took my NYX Butter Melt Blush. This is in the shade You Know Butter. It's got that same pinky gold. And this is a new brush. This is the Morphe V106. I feel like this is the type of brush I always see Manny MUA applying his blush with. Like a very, I don't know, that kind of a brush. Versus what I would put my blush on with normally would be this big old honka chonka. And I think this is actually like a foundation brush. And I would like, blah, blah. I feel like this is much softer. I kind of, I really like that. I need to wash my brushes. Boop. Okay, back in with mascara. Okay, bronzer. NYX Butter Melt and All Butted Up. And I use a foundation, like a powder foundation brush to apply this. This is the e.l.f. Powder Blurring Brush. It really is good if you have a powder foundation, but I really like how it gives that kind of still that seamless look, but for my bronzer. Okay, I'm going to give a quick spritz of my Prime and Fine Setting Glow stuff from Catrice. I don't feel like that was the right words, but you get what I'm trying to say. Okay, for lip liner, I went in with the Milani. This is like literally my top liner. I have my own here, my own in my purse, and two different shades in my professional kit. The Makeup Color Statement Lip Liner in Nude. This really is a good nude. I can barely tell that uh, I'm putting it on my lips. And I bought, I brought two different lips. The first one I'm going to go in with is the Milani Color Fetish Hydrating Lip Stain. This is in the shade Rose Rising. Then I also had a second setting spray, the Professional Super Setting, but I don't feel like I really need to go into that right now. What I am going to do is go into my finishing powder, take the same puff. I'm going to flip it on the other side. Look, this is how I literally, it's great and it's cheap. I've already got two other ones somewhere in here. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of this. Guess I'm looking for my mirror. I'm just going to lightly tap. Beautimus, Beautimus. And I'm just going to leave it like that. I would have, or I can, I guess, just to show you. I also took the Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss. This is in the shade, I don't know, it is completely rubbed off. It's like the tannish looking one with the glitters. And there you go. That is all the makeup I packed for the beach. It didn't wear that well down there because I'm a sweaty girl and I get anxious and then that perpetuates the sweat. But if it had worn well, it would have looked really nice. If I do say so myself. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you will like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.